And uh, Louis, you must have been delighted to um, to get that start uh, New Year's Day. Yeah, yeah, it was um, a special moment for me, obviously, getting my first start for the club. Um, but obviously, most important that that we get the three points and continue to run. So um, yeah, it was a positive night all round, really. How did you think you did? Um, from a personal perspective, I thought I had a solid game. Um, kept it simple, tried to play forward at times, um, do the basics like the gaffer wants uh, from from all of us really. And I think that that's um, quite adamant in the way the boys play anyway. So so it was a, it was I was happy with my performance, but I know that there's a lot more to come. I mean, you played it quite a lot of times for Derby County, didn't you? Yeah, so I'm not too sure how many appearances I got, but I'd, I'd like to say around the 13, 14 mark, maybe in the league, and then um, obviously in the cups and stuff like that. So, so I got some experience from there, and and it was um, a val valuable time for me because it, obviously it was my debut um, there. So it gave me that that championship experience that that's needed for any young player coming up. And you come into this Luton side who are in form. It must be great to, to be involved with the team playing so well. Yeah, yeah. So the boys have been class. Like obviously, if I'm if I'm not involved, it's good to be in and amongst the group because everyone's everyone's class. Like, where you can you could talk about the chefs, stewards, staff, just around the ground. Everyone's good people. Everyone everyone works works for the badge. So when you when you see the boys doing well, it's not just it's not just the team that that has that. Um, Limelight, I think it's it's good to to shine the light on them as well because they do a lot for us and we do a lot for them. So it's a it's it's a good balance at the club and and it's showing in the performances. Because it's a strange one, isn't it? I mean, Derby County, a traditional big side, but went through all kinds of problems that you'll obviously know all about. And now you've moved to Luton, who are probably you know you'd say a smaller club traditionally, probably, but a, a, a tight knit and and slightly different. And obviously, they they are run much better. Yeah. So obviously, Derby had their their challenges, and obviously, they no one at the club at, at Derby really put a foot wrong like everyone tried their hardest to to, to stay up and eventually it, it it didn't happen so the the club at derby was a, it was a, it was a top club like i haven't, I haven't got a bad, a bad word to say about them really like everyone was good there but obviously coming here now it's, it's shined a light on on luton as well like like i said from top to bottom everyone works everyone works 100% and the club's punching above their weight and um this, this this group's it's ready to do something special. Like everyone, everyone's working, working at 100 percent, and they're ready to to make the next step. So I think it's important that we just continue to run, whether it's in the cup or in the league. I think a winning mentality is the the mentality that we need. And, and Luton but can become that big club and have been in the past as well. So that that's the presumably the you know what you're all striving to do to to get them to that next level. Yeah, no, for sure. Like. Everyone, everyone here is ready for that next step, but it's, it's important that we, we show it in, in the position we're in. So um, we just got to continue what we're doing, doing the basics well, doing every day right in training, in recoveries, in games, in the cup, in the league. That it don't matter, and that's and and that's what the the team have in abundance. Like everyone works at 100%, and then that's the most important part of it, really. How have you found the group? Because when when we talk about Luton and we know Luton. It's a tight group. It's a team that worked their socks off, got a load of heart, load of desire. Is it like that with that group of players? I think coming here showed showed me how honest the group is. I think there's no there's no people that that want the limelight. I feel like everyone wants to share it, and and it shows in the performances. Like uh, there's there's no individuals in this team. It is a team, and the the boys since I've been here have been nothing but but nice to me. I've got not a bad word to say about anyone, not not the staff nor the players, and um, it's made it an easy transition. And are you learning off some of those other midfielders? You know, Henry Lansbury, for instance, has you know has been there, done it, and is a quality player. And then you've got Jordan Clark and you know Pelly Ruddock and Campbell. It's it's a good little midfield that. Yeah, no, for sure. Everyone in everyone that that's fighting for that spot is is top players. At the end of the day, you got players that have played at the top top level of football. You got players that are striving to get there. So it's good competition, and and that's what we're all here for. Like competition is is the best way to 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 get wins, because 
if there's competition for places, then there's competition to perform as well. So when you when you get your chances, it's, it's important that you take them. And what about the FA Cup? Because obviously the, the league seems more important because of how well you're doing. But you, you know, you, you, I'm assuming that you're just going to still want to progress as far as you can. Oh, for sure. Like, I feel like it's not uh, taking the foot off the gas is is not what this team's about. No matter if it's the league, no matter if it's the cup, I think it's important that we keep that winning mentality and we just continue to to progress, whether that's in the cup or the league, because it, everyone everyone can feed off that. Progressing in the cup is only going to benefit you in the league as well, so I don't think anyone's going into the cup thinking, let's just focus on the league. Everyone's going into the cup thinking, let's keep the run going, and that's that's important for us. Have you found the, um, the transition between the old manager and the new manager? Yeah, so... so so Nathan Jones obviously was a, was a top manager and put us in a great position. Obviously they got playoffs last year, and um, he was class with everyone, and he left us in a good spot. Um, and then the new gaffer's come in now, and he's he's been class. Like you, you can see it in the boys. Everyone wants to run for him. Everyone wants to to perform for him, and perform for the badge. And he's he puts his arm around you. He makes sure you're good, and um, he speaks highly of everyone. And I think it's important that you have that that figure at, at that. In the managerial job, especially, like it's it's good to have someone like that, that's going to trust in players and and give you that confidence to to go onto the field, step over the white line, and enjoy yourself, but play to the best of your ability. I mean, he said he didn't need to make too many changes because obviously he's been working at Luton, and, and you know that's credit to him. Some managers come in and want to sort of stamp their authority somewhat sometimes just for the sake of it. But has he? Has there just been little tweaks here and there? Yeah, obviously he's he's trying to play a lot more uh, football, so. It's important that we don't go from the way we were playing to, to playing football straight away because it's good to get a progression and I feel like every every game we're stepping into now, you can see the identity coming out and um, that progression to a certain extent is important that it is slowly but surely. As soon as you start jumping into stuff that you're not really used to, that's when errors can occur so every single game I feel like the team is playing better and better and better and that's important progression on the pitch and off the pitch so the boys are taking everything on board and it's, it's showing in the performances Nice job, thanks Louis No worries How are they doing, you okay? All good, thank you, yourself? Yeah, not too bad, thank you um, Just on, on the debut obviously last week I mean, had, had you known, I think Jordan Clark was a sort of a late injury but had you known quite late you were actually going to make, make your first start then in the league? Yeah, I think I was told the, the day before, so the gaffer pulled me in and just, just said, like, the opportunity's here, so so make sure you take it by the scruff of the neck and, and, and prove a point. So it was it was a nice touch, obviously, getting my first start for the club. Um, it was important as well coming into the game, being two wins on the bounce that we get the third one. And um, obviously getting the third one was, was a it was a positive. And that's, that's the most important part, I think, getting them wins, ticking, it up, ticking every single game off with a win puts us in a better position until the end of the season to try to get promoted. You, you look very confident from, from the word go out there. I mean, was that something you wanted to do to, to come in and, and really show what you could do? Yeah, like coming into a game, I feel like it's important. Everyone has faith in their ability and, and is confident in what they can do. And, and that comes from training every single day. Like with training, you've got to use it as a game. And I feel like training here is it's nothing but 100%. Everyone takes it training seriously. Everyone takes set pay, uh, set pieces seriously. You, you can go into a meeting and it's exactly the same. So I think it's important that having that environment only helps you when you when you get your chance. You're ready because you, you're doing it every single day in training. So um, yeah, going into the game, I felt I felt good. I felt confident. And um, yeah, it was nice. Nice to get that first start. I think the manager actually said he, he told you just to go and do what you had done in training so I mean that obviously proves well and to have the backing of him to, to go in must be really good that you know you've got his support as well oh yeah for sure like every every player is hoping for that for that trust and that that confidence in in, in yourself really everyone has that com confidence in themselves when it comes from the gaffer and who's going to give you the opportunity it's important that when you get that opportunity you, you thank him and, you, and you're showing your performances and hopefully that's what I've done and, and hopefully I get many more to come it was, it was tough because obviously I think you only played in the in the Watford game, hadn't you? The, the, the last few seconds of that, really. So to, but to come in and, and play like that after not featuring in the first team was was it difficult to do that. Um, I mean, like, like I said, it's, it, training. You should take training as a game. So 
no matter if it's my first start, no matter if it's my, I, I made an appearance against Watford for a few minutes, you've got to take everything seriously and, and if you do if you do the basics well every single day, then the game should take care of itself. You seem to want the ball at the time as well. I think your passing accuracy was 95% at the end, so how important is that to you? Is that something that you um, see as a, a key part of your game as well? Yeah, like the way, the way, I've, the way I've grew up is get the ball, move the ball, pass and move, play forward as much as you can and it's going to have benefits for the team like being an option can can create options for other people sometimes you draw people out and you might not get the ball but sometimes you might get the ball and you have an effect in the game so it's important that I continue to, to want the ball no matter the situation because it's going to benefit other players at the end of the day give people other people time on the ball so um, yeah that, that's, that's pretty much my game um, and trying to create as much as I can as well and, and when you joined the club in the summer, had you hoped to have maybe broken in beforehand, or was it always a question of kind of because obviously the, the side done so well, just kind of bide your time for that for that opportunity, really? Yeah, every, every every player wants to play football at the end of the day, so so wanting to wanting to play is going to be in everyone's mind. But at the end of the day, you got to, you got to stay patient, you got to be ready, and when the chance comes, and that's when that's when it's your time to take it. So I I'm happy to get my first start and. I'm ready to kick on now, so I have all faith in in the team, in the gaffer, that that we continue to win games, continue to pick up points, and and lead us into a good position. It was a fantastic Christmas period as well, wasn't it? Three wins, beat some big teams, we just goal difference off the playoffs now, so it really couldn't have, couldn't have gone much better. Yeah, no, for sure. Um, everyone has that goal in mind to, to obviously get promoted, but it's important that we take every ga every game as as it comes and pick up as many wins as we can. So. Um, the boys were class throughout the festive period and obviously when I got my chance it was nice nice to tip it off with a win and it, in, on a personal note it was nice but then obviously you have players like Reese Belt coming back from injury and chipping in with a goal to win the game to get us three points it was it was it was nice to see because obviously he's gone through a tough period and I think as this team shows we're a family at the, at, at the end of the day so um, it's, it's nice to see other people shine as well. FA Cup obviously managed this weekend. How much has it, has it been to you? Because obviously you're slightly younger than, than most of us, really. So um, is it something that you've that you, you've grown up on, or is it, is, is it different, really, as a, as a cup these days? FA Cup's a special cup. You got all teams from England in it, and it's the best team wins at the end of the day. So it is a special cup. I don't think anyone else would say different. Um, I've never actually gotten. I've never played an FA Cup game, so it, hopefully it's going to be a, a, a game where I can. Uh, Effect and, and enjoy. So, FA Cup's obviously a special cup. So, we're gonna we're gonna look forward to it and and hopefully come away with a win. I mean, I don't you hadn't played a derby. Were you on the bench or anything? Was this your first actual experience of, of a game? If, if you if you're involved, it in was. Something? Funny enough, it was supposed to be my first start, and um, team got struck with COVID. So obviously that had a a detriment to me. But like I said, you got to just stay ready and, and be patient. And then the, the next FA Cup game, I had a niggle. So. Hopefully, hopefully this is this is the chance that I can get. And do you have any sort of memories growing up as a youngster? I mean, have you, a team you supported that you watched at all in it, or have you got any sort of just memories of, of watching of watching the cup? Uh, memories of the cup. God, imagine, I could, growing up, I could, I, I, all I remember is Arsenal winning a few. To be honest with you, um, obviously the upsets is is what we like to see as well. Like you love seeing teams from from lower leagues get a couple wins here and there and have a good run but that's that's what the FA Cup's about I think it's, it's, it's about um, football in itself taking over and everyone enjoying themselves and see see let the best team win Nice to someone had a great run last season got to play Chelsea in the Cup and, and they went down 3-2 at home so I mean if you can get through this one you know it's, it's, it's a chance for a good run isn't it? Yeah no for sure everyone wants to play against the best teams so hopefully we get the win in the next round and we, we, we can pull out a big team and take him down to the Kenny and get another 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 win.